Okay, I can't go out and buy every handheld on the planet. So whenever I actually want something, I got to, you know, invest a little time into it. I got to think about it. I got to learn about it. And I got to realize, you know, I could actually be buying groceries with that money or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Whenever I go to make a purchase, it's usually a big thought. And I bought this thing. It's a TrinUI Smart Pro. Because, you know, it looks neat. And I've never had anything with LED lights on the front before. And I heard the chipset was a lot like the 351 piece chipset, which I'm used to. So I was like, oh, okay. So it's only going to be sort of a learning experience, but I'll already know what I'm doing, kind of. Maybe. Well, I got this in the mail yesterday afternoon, but I've been learning about it for months. And, you know, I didn't think it was going to come with a micro SD card, and I was right. So I had one already ahead of time. And I put Tomato OS on it. And, you know, I fidgeted with it for a while, make sure all the files were in the right spot and all that stuff. I did a little testing this morning, but I'm going to be playing with this for a while. So I think I'm just going to make a big video log of the whole thing. Now, the thing I noticed right off the bat with Tomato OS, it was a lot like Amber Alec in that whenever you start the game, it does something really cool. What it does, it has pre-configured shaders and it makes the video game shaded to where it looks like the old Game Boy. And I was fiddling around with this thing and I noticed there's a lot of that in the Sega Genesis games, the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. I was like, oh my gosh, they preset everything and it looks amazing. So yeah, I'm used to this. I know about this. So I didn't feel bad about buying this. Let's see if you had gotten Amber Elect, your stuff would be pre-configured. You can use the joystick or the D-pad. Everything looks nice. It's pre-shaded. And if you ever want to exit out of game, all you got to do is hit start and select. Easy peasy, right? So, I got my Trim UI Smart Pro, and I was like, ooh. Learning experience. Brand new learning experience. And I'll tell you what, it's a good thing I studied ahead. Because these instructions are bullshit. <laughs> Firmware update. Yeah, you do all this, but where do you get the update? Do you know? Fuck no. <laughs> this was stupid. I mean, okay, you got a nice layout of your game system. But you tell the buyer nothing. Good job. Good thing I'm a tinkerer. Arr, arr, arr. Now, I'm keeping this box because this box is cool. It feels like one of them old cigar boxes. You know, really sturdy and stuff. And it holds the game like perfect. And look at that. It's got a little casing and everything. All I got to do is put a little uh, wiping cloth in there and I'm set. I mean, look at that. That's a freaking hardcore box. But... Here's what you came for. This is what you click on. Whoop. And watch this shit. Mm. Yeah. And the LEDs you can adjust to brightness. So they're not annoying at all. Mm.
Can you see the shading how it looks? And the cool thing is, if you're in a hurry, you don't have to pop into RetroArch. It's got its own special menu. You can just save or whatever you want to. You can exit the game. But if you really got to go into RetroArch and mess with things, you go into the advanced menu, and there's RetroArch. Everything you remember from RetroArch, you can do here. So, yay. And I thought I was going to have to relearn quick keys and everything. Nope. Nope, nope. Everything's really cool on here. Mm. That's not a touch screen, but you can get around that. Just like the 351P. This is one of my favorite artists, Lumpy Touch. Made a really cool Game Boy game. I love it. Now he makes games that you have to play on the, you know, on the computer, so meh. But I'll always have this one. Even though it's a touch screen, or not a touch screen, it still catches dust. But you see how everything's shaded and it looks like Game Boy? But yeah, dude, I am so glad I bought this thing. And check out, like, how well premium made it is. Like, when I got this, I thought it was metal, but I'm pretty sure it's plastic. But it doesn't feel like cheapo crapo plastic. It feels like good plastic. Like, okay, the 351P felt like a handgun. It felt like that kind of plastic. This... Feels like a uh, Sony plastic, I guess. And not PSP, but more like Vita. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good stuff. So, for a while, I'm going to be learning on this thing. If I come up with something neat that somebody may want to know, I'll let you know. Alright, hope you learned something.